Hadley is in Abu Dhabi with more on this huge technological advance if it happens, Hadley. Jeff, you sound so skeptical about this modern marvel of transportation. I got the chance to catch up with the head of DP World and also, of course, as you mentioned, Sir Richard Branson. I asked them about what's going to happen next. Let's listen into what they had to say. Oh, um, I mean, look, there, there are, I mean, we're talking to the Indians about, you know, they've got massive, busy, busy cities. Um, that, uh, and miserable experiences for, for, for people in cars, you know, three, four, five hour journeys um, in, you know, soot ridden uh, in cars. And, um, uh, and okay, so this you know, this again will, 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 will transform the, all those sort of big, big, r r big city routes um, uh, and um, make, make life a lot more bearable. Um, and it will have, you know, a little bit of an effect maybe on short haul air travel. Um, but, um, you know, but mainly it'll have a big effect on reducing the amount of people on cars. I mean, as, as um, Salton said earlier, we can do this for a fraction of the price of, of what you can build, you know, conventional trains. Um, and the speed we can put these tracks, the, the, these, these tunnels out is dramatic, um, you know, how, how fast it can all happen. Um, so. Uh, you know, so I think a lot, a lot of the world will be connected, um, you know, like London to Edinburgh, for instance, you know, we're talking about, you know, less than 30 minutes, um, it, uh, 600 miles, and, you know, that, that, will be, that will compete with, you know, airlines to an extent. Um, actually, maybe not, maybe to a big extent, <laughs> um, but anyway. You put yourself out of business. Uh, fortunately, we're long-haul airlines, so we're not really doing much short haul. Sultan, so I'm going to ask you to weigh in quickly on this as well, because DP World Cargo Speed, you've already said planning for this has opened up new doors in terms of other innovations that you didn't even know you needed. Yes, definitely. This is connecting us, really, with our customers. This is something beyond the gate. Today, we handed the car from the dock to the gate. This is beyond the gate. This is from the gate somewhere else. Today, we handle in our ports around the world. We handle the cargo efficiently, whether the port is Dubai or Mumbai. The problem is, from the gate in Dubai, the cargo goes smoothly. From the gate in Mumbai, it's a different matter. This will resolve that, will allow us to transport faster. And time is more expensive than any, any commodity today. People want it on time. And that will happen with the system, which will add to what exists today as far as so that was really exciting to go aboard the QE2 and see that historic ship basically being rebuilt to its former glory and, of course, getting to catch up with the DP World Chairman as well as Richard Branson as well. And, of course, the DP World Chairman is much more concerned with uh, really moving cargo rather than moving people. So a lot of questions about how quickly they're going to get up to speed. They said they were going to start construction in India in the coming months. And certainly, of course, if you speak to Sir Richard Branson, you know, he'll sit there and tell you, you know, this is not just about moving people from place to place and avoiding traffic headaches, but of for him, of course, it's also about the ongoing fight against climate change. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.